This is the free motion quilting tutorial for channels and paths. This design is stitched from one edge of your quilting space to the other. So you're going to start with this long wiggly line stretching from one end of your quilting space to the other. Okay, now you're just going to come to a point and echo that line all the way back to your starting line. You're not creating a point on that opposite side so much as you're just creating kind of a wiggly flame shape more or less. Now I'm stitching further down and excuse my hair flying into the camera. I'm not really sure what I'm doing in this video but I usually don't have my hair in the way. And I'm stitching down coming to a point again but actually this time I'm going to travel stitch a bit to create the point on the opposite side. So this is kind of an interesting thing so you can create the points so, so that they vary. So one is touching on one side and one is touching on the opposite side. Kind of a neat little texture switch up there. And so now the rest of the design is created simply by stitching back and forth these nice angling arch shapes. You're just swirling back and forth, coming in touch with that wiggly line, and then travel stitching and swirling back over to the edge of your quilting space. It's really very simple. This is not a difficult design at all. And the biggest thing about it will just be simply keeping everything consistent, consistent lines between everything, uh, consistent distances between your lines of quilting. So you can see I'm going to fill in this little corner right here and then travel stitch to get into the middle area between these two little wiggly lines and now I'm going to stitch arches in the opposite direction so they're curving up in kind of the opposite direction to that first line and this creates an interesting texture variation because if one set is kind of curving down and the next set is curving up it kind of makes it look like the lines are swirling up and around those wiggly lines that you started with so here you can see what the texture looks like after you've gotten a little bit more stitched. And here's what it looks like whenever you finish channels and paths.